That's pretty cool. Splashdown success. After circling the globe for a few days, the first privately funded all civilian SpaceX crew is back on solid ground or wet ground, I guess. It was all smiles from the Inspiration4 as they exited the capsule late this afternoon near the Kennedy Space Center. CBS 2's Mark Strassman has more on this mission. A three day camping trip in the cosmos ended with a splash off the Florida coast. Inspiration 4, on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home to planet Earth. Inspiration 4, a space voyage like no other. Not a single professional astronaut aboard. That itself is not new. But by orbiting the Earth in a SpaceX capsule 15 times a day, we're seeing the world every 90 minutes. The civilian crew did circles around previous adventures in cosmic tourism. Mission Commander Jared Isaacman, the billionaire who chartered the flight. So a big part of our mission here at Inspiration4 is to inspire what can be done here in space. Crew member Haley Arsenault flipped for microgravity. Haley is a champ at spinning. Arsenault's journey was improbable long before she got to space. This video shows her at age 10 fighting bone cancer. A patient at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital in Memphis. And that is Haley Arsenault. On 19 years later, her backstory fueled Inspiration 4's goal raise $200 million for St. Jude. Watching her launch on Wednesday, six year old Matthew Arp, a leukemia patient at St. Jude today. From orbit, Inspiration 4's crew took space questions from nine child patients now at St. Jude, including Matthew. There will be one day. Next month, a Soyuz capsule will take two Russian civilians all the way to the space station. They're shooting a movie up there on location, so there's no need to build a set. Mark Strassman, CBS News at the Kennedy Space Center. Haley Arsenault, who Mark mentioned in his piece, also made history as the youngest American in space and the first to travel to space with a prosthesis. She now works as a physician's assistant at St. Jude's, where she was treated nearly two decades ago.